we're in our latest purchase, our Tesla <laughs> Model S P85D. <laughs> Next on Talking Cars. This thing is insane. Hi there and welcome to a very special episode in Talking Cars. We are in the front seat of our Tesla Model S P85D. I'm Tom Mutchler. And I'm Jake Fisher. So we bought one. Yes. And it's pretty awesome. All right, let's get to the uh, let's get to the chase here. Okay. Um, Insane you, mode. Yeah, you haven't been in this car no, yet. No, no. This we, is your first we, time getting. We've the car. owned this car less than 24 hours since it rolled off of the flatbed trailer. Uh, yeah, I just did a. Uh, a little video of this car, and I experienced for the first time what is called insane mode. And you guys now is this as good as they're claiming? I mean, um, no, it's kind of better. Okay. So I mean, I've been in a lot of fast cars before. I yeah, drove sure. Drove a sure. Ford GT and some you know Lamborghinis here over here. So we're gonna put this in insane mode. Okay. And um, are you ready? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> can't talk. <laughs> it's like my voice goes through the back of my neck. <laughs> oh my god. It's it's nuts. It's That's completely crazy. nuts. Crazy. Yeah. That was that was worth $127,820. <laughs> yeah. All coming out of your salary. You should know. But well, I, I don't mean, like the sound of that at all. <laughs> but I mean here's the thing. I I have been in cars that accelerate this fast. Sure. And uh, like we were in the uh, with the uh, Nissan GTR mm -hmm. and go zero to 60 in three seconds right. too. But it's a whole different experience. I mean, this thing just goes like a catapult. Oh yeah. Um, and there's no engine revving up, there's no shifting. I mean, right, GTR, if you ever, you know, you sit there and you put your foot down and there's a, so you engage launch mm -hmm. mode and it's doing these things and the clutch smokes. Here, and, there's only one button. <laughs> right, and they, and what was it? They, you know, they, they'll, they'll cancel your warranty if you do That's it too right. much. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. this just does it just no sweat, no stress, easy. That's that's astonishing. That is not the reason why we no, bought. No, that is not we did the not. reason. We are more <laughs> we are more responsible adults than that with with our company and our donors' money. We no. we had other reasons for buying a P eighty five D. One of the reasons is that the Talking Cars audience, you know, we we asked you guys back in episode sixty two if we should buy one of these and. People overwhelmingly said yes. There is a lot of interest in this car. Yeah, I mean, this car is not just fast, but I mean, this is almost like the best the automotive industry can offer. Sure. And it's not just the performance, and yeah, it's a big sedan that can accelerate like the best of them, but it's, it's a lot of this new technology. When we tested the original Tesla Model S, it didn't have many advanced safety features, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was missing a lot of things. Um, well, they're, now the car has it, and they've updated this car, they've updated the hardware. It's got uh, lane departure warning, it's got active um, crash mitigation, it's got... Um, blind spot monitoring. Blind spot monitoring. Um, it's got active cruise control that'll take you right down to a stop. It's, it's got all those features, and more are coming. No, but I mean, that stuff you could get on, you can almost get that stuff now on a Ford Focus. You know, it's, it's the extra layer of what's coming that was the real reason for buying this car. Right, so we are equipped that with the right hardware, so when the software update comes in the summer, um, we're gonna have actually autonomously dr autonomous driving features. Mm -hmm. So the car is gonna have a feature where they, um, it will steer itself, it will, they're talking about uh, changing lanes by itself and over, over uh, taking other traffic. And more interestingly, actually parking itself. Right. So you can actually get out of the car and It'll park itself, it'll come back. I mean, this is like, you know, Batmobile kind of stuff, right? Or at least Inspector Gadget. <laughs> exactly. Another interesting thing is that Tesla's kind of mixing up the model lineup. You know, they, they just recently announced the 70D, this entry-level Tesla. That kind of shakes things up because over the, the Tesla's brief history, it's been the most powerful car has been the most successful, or the one with the biggest battery pack has been the most successful. Right, so, I mean, it's not the... Um it's not the first entry-level Tesla. In fact, there originally no. was a... There was a 40. There was a 40. Which then, is laughable now, it seems, all those. Right. Now there, there was a 60, and they dropped the 60 to replace it with a 70. But a 70 is now... A, there's a 70 dual dual motor, so it's a four-wheel drive, and it's cheaper. I mean, it's not... I would call it entry-level. I mean, they talk well, it's, about... it's 75,000? 
Well, I mean, it depends on how, who you ask. If you go to the Tesla <laughs> site yet, I went today, they say it's $57,000. Well, that's including the gasoline savings. Right, exactly. and all, yeah, yeah, they're playing a few. Right, that's kind of like when you gifts. buy a Honda and it actually costs you negative 40000 because you saved the money by not, not buying a Tesla. So you could kind of oh, work it out. It's <laughs> incredible. I know, it's, it's the new math. math. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, so it's going to be interesting to see if, you know, how popular the 70D winds up being. Um, it's also showing Tesla's, there seems to be sort of this move towards all wheel drive. You know, that, that, in fact, if you want to get, you can still buy an 85D like the car we, I'm sorry, an 85 like the car we right, tested. Right. You almost have to dig for it to get it on, on the website. Well, I mean, it's just a, you're looking at the market. I mean, the luxury car market, they're all all wheel drive. I mean, that's, that's where it's moved, so it just totally makes sense. Sure. You know, and again, you know, Tesla is very innovative in how they can do this. You know, with, with motors in the front, motor in the back, they're claiming the all wheel drive is actually more efficient than the car replaces, but I mean... Well, that's what the EPA numbers show. Um, you know, it's interesting. With the two smaller motors instead of one big one, um, it's possible they could be more efficient the way they deliver power. Well, it's also possible of everything they can do with software updates. <laughs> because, you know, they've, they've come out with a software update that, in, what, it increased the horsepower, the 85D. Increased the top speed uh, of the zero, vehicle. Zero to 60 is quicker. Yeah. Uh, top speed went from 130 to 155. You know, it's just amazing everything they're doing to the car. Yet, yeah. despite all that, our, our built in 2012 um, model, our, our 85, couldn't be updated to, to the contemporary level of specs. Right. I and mean, this, this is the, the smartphone playbook, right? I mean, it's very interesting with the over the air updates, and everyone's kind of used to, you know, where you go from, you know, the lollipop on your Android device or you got iOS 7 on your phone. But there is hardware limitations. So our car, while Tesla has been good about updating and giving us little, uh, you know, Easter eggs and gadgets sure. and stuff for our car, they can't change the hardware. They're not going to be able to put in over the air the front motor. They can't put in the sensors no. that are necessary for self-driving or some of no. these uh, collision avoidance technologies. So yeah, I mean, our car is a iPhone 4S and it doesn't have Apple Pay and, and all that. So so it's still a very nice phone, but it's, <laughs> it's certainly, nice not, phone. certainly not the, the latest and the And if you greatest. want the latest and the greatest, I mean, this is what we had to do. We upgraded our, our car. And that's what we bought. We bought the latest and the greatest. So uh, we're really looking forward to, to getting more miles on this car and seeing what Tesla does with it over... You know, it's almost like it's like Christmas every couple of weeks, <laughs> or, or the, the the holiday of your choice every couple of weeks to, to see what's going to happen. Well, this is the latest and greatest platform for Tesla, right? And um, we're going to have to see. I mean, there's the summer update, but I'm sure there's more more coming too. That's right. So, as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on Talking Cars. <laughs> oh, that's fun. <laughs>